All right, I'm back. So now that I have my backgrounds, I've locked my bottom layer so I can't accidentally bump those layers or anything. And I'm gonna come up to your text here, okay? If I zoom in over here on the left, it says all your cards must be vertical as they are sold vertically. Each card is about three by five. Background layouts and overall design is totally up to you, but each card must include the Microsoft logo and Xbox Live. So you've got a layer there for your logos, but we'll deal with text first. Okay, your three month card, you're gonna do a three month, a six month, and a 12 month. Each of them have a little bit of different information. So what I'm gonna do is highlight three month, go to edit and copy that type. I click on my black arrow and click outside, basically to tell Illustrator I'm done with that type. I can hold my space bar and push this back over. And I want three month to go toward the bottom of the card. Okay, so I'm gonna take my type tool, click, don't click and drag, just click, and I can say edit, paste. And that looks really boring, okay? So I'm gonna take my black arrow. Whenever I'm dealing with type, I hit Command T for type or your character panel. Your character panel comes in at only half of the panel. So you wanna click the pop-up and show the options. So you get all of the character panel. And I want people, when they walk by, I want to catch their attention. I want them to see that this is a nice, affordable card. It's only three months. So I want my font to be a lot bolder than this. Right up here, it says Myriad Pro. I can click the bop up on the right, scroll through my list of fonts. I might have some fonts that you don't have on your computer because I've downloaded some of my favorites. But I'm going to scroll down here all the way down to I and pick impact. That's a pretty bold, heavy font. 12 points is way too small. So if I go to this size field, hit the up, up, up arrow, I'm gonna increase the size of that type right about there. I'll make mine about 32. Okay, and we'll keep it right there. And what I want this type to be is white type with a black outline. Okay, and the reason why I'm doing that, there is a big issue when you deal with type and outlines. Okay, first thing that you should know about type and outlines, and I'll zoom in so you could really see this, is if I have my type selected with my black arrow, I click on my fill, and over here on my swatches, I click white. But watch what happens when I add an outline or a stroke. I click on the stroke and I click black. If I want the stroke to be even thicker, right up here is a link to my stroke. When I start hitting the up arrow, notice how it ruins my type. Okay, so by default, I do not recommend putting outlines on your type. It just ruins type. Okay, so here's what I recommend. Take the outline, hit the red slash. Don't put an outline yet. What you're also going to do, if you ever want an outline on type, select your type, click on the fill, and hit the red slash. Make invisible type. Okay, it still says three month here. I can still click on a fill. It's still there but I take all the color out of my type first. Then the trick for putting outlines on your type is you go and turn on your appearance panel again. Okay, right now it doesn't even say the type has any color in it or any outline, there's nothing. So in the upper right corner of your appearance panel is your pop-up, you add a new fill. This is the trick. You do it from your appearance panel. So now I can click this little pop-up, make the color of my type white. Okay, I'll click this little triangle and close that bar. 
now I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Click this pop up, make my outline black. I can make the stroke a little thicker and you see it starts doing the same thing to my type. But when I close up this little arrow, I can take the stroke like a layer and pull it under the fill. So now, no matter how thick I make my outline, it'll never cover up my type. Okay, the one thing I do get though is these little weird spiky things. And those are based on sharp angles in the type. That's why you don't get it on the T or the H. You get it on the M and the N. And that's really common. So here's the simple fix. If you're ever going to put an outline on type, you go right up here and click on the word stroke. You have to open your stroke panel. Okay. Cap is the ends of your lines. You want to click the middle button, a round cap which didn't do anything. So the goal is, if you're gonna round off the caps, you round off your corners. Watch these little spikes when I click the two middle buttons. All of those little spiky things are gone. Now I can click up here, that'll close up the stroke panel. Maybe make my stroke a little thinner right there. But it's definitely readable. Okay, I'm gonna click outside. Go to my zoom tool and option click a couple of times here so I can zoom back out and that looks pretty good. And what I would suggest is you design your first card. Then you're just gonna copy your design over there, change it from three month to six month and do whatever you want with it. So let me see, I've got three month right here. Now keep in mind, you could have three month going across like this you can go to your uh, rotate tool and hold shift and that will pop it up at a 90 degree angle. And I could put my text going up the side like that if I wanted to. The design is totally up to you. Okay, but I'm gonna go to edit, undo, edit, undo the rotate. And I'm gonna keep it right here like that. Um, underneath that, Okay, if I hold my space bar and come back over here, the three month card also says see back for details. That's like legal copy. And that's not the copy that should be really big on a card. So I'm gonna highlight that line right there. Edit, copy, take my black arrow, click outside, hold my space bar for my hand tool and we'll push this back over. And now with my type tool again, you don't want to click near your type. I'll just start down below. Click, edit, paste. I'll go to my black arrow. If I don't like this font, which is Myriad Pro, feel free to change that. Or if you don't like the font, I'll go with Arial. And maybe Arial bold italic. Instead of 12 points, maybe I'll put it down to 10. And we'll tuck that right underneath the month right there. Three months. See back for details. Okay, I also want to put some other text like the price. Typically on those Xbox cards, they put the price in the upper right corner here. So I'm going to do that. Hold my space bar for the hand tool and come back over here. Highlight $24.99 edit and copy, click on my black arrow, click outside to finish off with the type, hold my space bar and come back over, take my type tool, I'm just gonna click, edit, paste. That type doesn't stand out at all. So when I go to my black arrow, I want the price to be bold. So I'm gonna set my font again to impact. Since I have impact in the lower left, we'll balance that out with impact in the upper right. I'm gonna click the up arrow next to the font size. We'll make that type nice and big. People don't really look at the 99 as well as much as they look at the 24. So I'm gonna put it right there, about 33 points. Okay, and that's too big. It goes right off the page. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna zoom in. 
And now I'm gonna take my type tool, delete, highlight and delete the point. I'm gonna highlight the sense, and instead of being the same size, I'm gonna highlight that field and make them much smaller. Maybe around 18 points. But notice when I click, they kind of line up along the bottom edge of my type. I want the 99 to float up. So if I highlight the 99, right down here is a field called a baseline shift. All type sits on a baseline. You can see with my black arrow, all my type rests on this line at the base of the type. If I highlight the type, I can take the baseline shift and hit the up arrow and float my type to the top of the numbers. Now remember, that 99 is 18 points, 12 point baseline. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the dollar sign. We'll make it down right here to 18 points as well. Highlight the baseline shift and we'll bump that up to 12. I think that was 12. Yeah. All right. So now I've got a nice little balance thing like you would see in the newspapers. Now keep in mind when you click that, you're going to get blank fields because Illustrator doesn't know what size you're looking at if all of it is selected. Should it tell me the size of the 24 or should it tell me the size of the 99? You're going to get a blank. I got a few blanks over here. Okay, so if I want the whole thing to blow up a little bit more, I go to my free transform tool, click the top button here so I don't distort my graphic, and I'll pull the corner up. Let's make that type just a little more pronounceable there on the card. All right, I want this type to match what's going on down here. Type with an outline. Okay, so again, you click on your type with your black arrow, click on the fill, and hit the red slash. Make invisible type. On your appearance panel, you click the pop-up, add a new fill. My fill will be white. I click on the stroke here and make it black. And remember, you want to close these little triangles. When you're putting outlines on type, take the stroke bar right here and pull it under the fill. Now when I click the size, I can hit the up arrow, make it a little thicker, and there's those stupid little spikes again. Looks like it would kill someone right there. So I want to get rid of those little spikes. And again, that is on your stroke panel. Click the word stroke up here. Click the two middle buttons, a round cap and a round corner, and that gets rid of your spikes. So now this text is very bold. It's easy to read if I zoom out right here. So I know that for three months, it's going to cost me $24.99. Okay. I'm going to hit Command S, save my progress on that, definitely. And then the rest of the design is going to be totally up to you. Okay, I can come over here and I've got estimated retail price, which I would probably highlight and type right underneath the price, obviously. Um, you've got play with friends online and get free, blah, blah, blah. That's what you get for $24.99. You also have Xbox Live Gold Membership. Okay, you can put those wherever you want. You can also go back to your layers. You can turn on the layer called white icons. You can put those wherever you want. If you don't want them running right across the middle of the card, because maybe you want to put type there, you can take this one. Uh, let's take this one here. Stack it at the bottom. And maybe put these on top of each other. Like that. We'll put those three right there. And feel free to design your cards however you want. Like I said, you could put all three of these at the bottom and then put three months on top or whatever you want to do. This is your design. Each card can be designed differently as well. You could put those three right over there and then put these three over here 
and maybe you know as a design experiment put these three up here the design is totally up to you okay i just want to see how creative you can get so now that i've got this first card laid out just a couple other hints you can take your type tool highlight a block of text like this and go to edit copy go to my black arrow click outside but obviously you don't want a long sentence for a short card okay so then in that case you need a boundary so you take your type tool click and drag a container so I'll go about the width of the words three month right there when I let go of my mouse edit and paste Okay, there's my type trapped in a text frame I'm gonna highlight that right there and I don't want that to be myriad pro I'm gonna click this and go back up to Arial. since it's on a texture I want people to read that more easily so I'll set the style to Arial bold and I don't like how the word Xbox is getting cut and 360 is over there or if you look closely right here exclude and then sieve that words getting cut in half and I don't like that so I'm gonna take my black arrow click on my type and then on your character panel right next to that is your paragraph panel on your paragraph panel you have a hyphenate button so you can turn that off so you will not be able to hyphenate any words and make them look weird okay so if that's getting cut off and I don't like that look maybe I make my type a little bigger like that that kind of fits but if you make your type even bigger it's gonna get cut off okay now I can't even read the whole thing and when I click outside and click again I've got a little red box with a plus so if that ever happens, you have to take your white arrow, remember this edge over here on the right. I'm gonna click outside and then go right there. You can see a little black box next to my arrow. Right there. Click on the edge and hit the arrow key on my keyboard, the right arrow key, and that will nudge the width of the box. So I can blow it up a little bit to accommodate my type. Okay, but I think this type is too big for my card. So I might put it up a little higher. And let's go a little lower on the type. Like that. That looked perfect right there. Got a nice boxed look to it. That'll fit in that space very nicely right there. Okay, that's looking good kind of lines up pretty close with the stacking of my icons if I kind of move them around a little bit got all my information right down here I need the Xbox logo Xbox Live and I need the Microsoft logo and I'm going to show you how you set those up in the next video